Hello, Dazzle. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me today. I'm glad that you're here. Today we are playing Minecraft and I'm getting that loaded up so you should be seeing the world. Yeah! Let's do it! I have no idea what I'm doing, but you know, we're gonna be doing it. Uh, what I really need to do is organize my stroof. But you know, here we are. I, I say this like every time I play and then I proceed to like not organize my shit. It's fine. I don't think I ever have organized stuff. All right, so I need to like look and see where I was at. So I'm like over here trying to build stuff and you know, it's a, it's a project. I have a project. I always have a project, it's fine. So I need to like get more dirt, I guess. I guess that's where I'm at. And hello there, sub to Volt. How you doing? Whoa. <laughs> All right. And hello there, one so good. How you doing? Hey, Misha. How you doing? Wow, the castle's come a long hey, way. Misha, Has it been a while since you've seen it? Oh. Oh, the castle's come a long way. Is it oh, I got an echo. There we go. I, I, it's always so weird when we get random epic, uh, uh, like just the random, random echoes. Love it. And we're watering the face all. Thank you. And hi, Eric. How you doing? So thank you, Quinn. Oh dear. Quandale. I, I think that's how I say that. I appreciate that. And hello there, Michelle. How you doing? And Lily, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We need dirt, guys. We need dirt. I feel like our quote castle is more like a complex at this point with a castle in the middle of it. That's good. Dirt's good. And we need some stone brick. Alright. We don't have a lot of stuff, but I'm gonna I'm gonna start with this. And then we're gonna have to like get more at some point. You finally made it to your stream. I've just been so busy. Well, I'm sorry to hear that you've been busy. I hope that it's the good kind of busy. Because we all know there's the good busy and then there's the not good busy and I, I hope it's the good kind of busy. Where you're like doing fun stuff. We need this tree out of the way, so we'll just get it gone. Alright. school and stuff yeah all right so at least there's nothing like terrible happening just just life i 
I mean, and that's like plenty, right? Like we don't, I, I feel like I'm at the point in my life that I definitely don't need like adventures. I'm, I'm, I'm completely content with boring. landscaping project turned out to be a whole lot more than I thought it was going to be. Am I going to be playing with anyone today? I don't think that anybody on the server is going to be on today. They might surprise me and join in, but probably not. Yeah, you've been doing a bunch of fundraising so that you can go to this Theater Kid Festival in January. Oh, that sounds fun. I mean, fundraising doesn't sound fun, but going to a theater festival sounds fun. I always hate doing fundraising. It is a little... How long has it been since the shout out? Or do you mean like how long since the viral stuff in, it was in uh, October. So we've got almost a year. It's been a little while. And it's been an interesting year. You went to one last year and it was so much fun. Yeah, it sounds like it would be fun. I didn't do theater stuff like in school like a whole lot but I did like work for a theater company for a while making costumes and I absolutely loved it. It was so much fun. costumes is fun <laughs> yeah I had a blast with it like I don't think that I would ever want to be like an actor I don't do well with like the whole memorization of lines and stuff and I I never had like any real desire to do the whole acting thing but theater in context of like making props and making costumes that part of theater I have always found like to be super fun Halloween's my favorite holiday for the same reason. I love making costumes. I mean, that and I just love horror and Halloween is like the celebration of all the scary stuff. We go to Wichita for three days and we get to do different workshops, meet other theater kids in the state, and watch shows that other schools put on. Oh, that sounds fun. be a lot of fun to do i mean and i think that the best part of those kinds of events is the opportunity to meet a bunch of people that have similar interests i think that's what i always liked about like going to conventions and stuff is that it's like 
by default of them being there, you know that they're interested in the same kinds of things that you are. So I just felt like it made bridging the gap and making friends so much easier. Like, you're like, you're here. That means that we've got something in common or we wouldn't both be here. Last year, I learned how to do stage hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yeah, you were talking about that and it sounded really cool. Yeah, Josh Panda's Minecraft day. And how you doing there, Panda? Love those. I did it with my theater group, but we were kind of small. Yeah. <laughs> Better than Scored. I mean, Minecraft presents its own challenges. I mean, there's that. <laughs> I, I definitely feel like there's less risk of dying, but, you know... There's creepers. There's time and chances. For sure. And Panda! You are the first to offer a zebra cake to Zed and Otis. They are grateful for your offering. They shall eat it with relish. Because, man, relish is the best! Stick your zebra cakes. Yeah, he definitely will. He's like that. He wants all the zebra cakes. He's kind of greedy with snacks in general. He kind of feels like all the snacks should be his snacks, but you know. theater program in the state be we are a medium-sized group i would say he's now going to take over the stream <laughs> he would love to take over the stream he absolutely would if i let him i can't even imagine what a like all otis stream would be like oh my goodness I would need so many more spoons than I have to channel that, like, bundle of energy the whole time. Oh, my goodness. I believe someone is demanding to be seen. I think that I can hear him from here. Yeah, you know, he is. I I'll, I'll get there. I mean, he, he makes demands all by himself. You know, you don't, you don't have to, like, demand for him, Miss Raj. Jeez, apparently I'm not fast enough for him. I mean... That being said, Mr. Arch does make sure that I stay on task, and there's that. Thank you for summoning me out! Panda, you are amazing! I appreciate you giving me your zebra cakes! Yes, yes, yes! I shall eat them all! All the zebra cakes! You have spent your cakes the best way possible, for I, I am the greatest pig, and I demand worship! Bring on the worship! Worship me, for I am amazing! Okay, let me look at you guys. Yeah, yeah, you're pretty awesome too. Definitely good minion. Yes, yes, definitely minion material. Yes, sure, definitely. Yes, worship me! Yes, 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 yes. All right, health bump. Boop. Guys, you stay awesome. Thank you for summoning me fart. I'm going to go eat all of those cakes. Yes. The troublemaker has been summoned forth.
Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think there's enough spoons like in my drawer to do Otis a whole stream. Whew, it's intense, man. He's like high octane thing. Totally fine. This looks great. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I do not have enough dirt, guys. I'm gonna have to like go get way more dirt. I, I have a dirt problem. I have a dirt problem! As long as you feel it was worth it, then it's all good. I personally really like just being with my friends, uh, but the part where we perform is also really fun. Yeah, it sounds like it would be a bunch of fun. I would love to just like see all the different plays and stuff, performances. At least on Minecraft, you can craft as many doors as you want to open, right? Yes, I can have all the doors! And they can just be open! Yes, yes! <laughs> I agree, even though it's not my career path, I still really enjoy it. Dirt bomb! Yes, all the dot. Yeah, so... I'm gonna have to, like, go shovel dirt. I have to find a hillside that I can annihilate somewhere. <laughs> Off and away over here so that I'm not like messing up the base landscape that we've been preserving. Guess that's the word I'll use. Preserving. Well, I guess if I'm gonna cut down the wood, I mean, uh, the dirt, I might as well take the wood too. Otherwise, we'll just have a bunch of weird flavor trees. The shovel is so crazy. It's out of control. Out of control, I tell ya. I use it in my the hill just to delete it. So I move there. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the shovel. The shovel is amazing. I wish there was a shovel like this in real life. That you could just be like, go shovel, go, and it would just dig all the dirt for you. It would make things so much nicer if this, this shovel really existed. doing You're not exactly an actor either that's why i'm part of the tech crew oh okay i gotcha you know but all the people who do all that stuff are just as important as the actors 
Like, productions just don't look as good without all those other details. Like, if it was just a bunch of people standing on stage, it wouldn't be half as good. can get me. What? Why are there more assholes? There's there, there's so many of them. What's she doing today, guys? Finishing the zoo, the ice circuit for the race? <laughs> and, and yes, Lily, very much. I am working on the hill. I needed another one of those, right? We can just decorate the whole place with the banners of our enemies. see for the stream yeah that should still be on yep says it's running oh let me double check my extensions and make sure that it's uh Interesting. I don't know why it's not. I don't know why it's not the way it usually is. Or just in that browser. Interesting. I feel like your main struggle in tech is harder times design was messed up, so things aren't really in the places that they should be. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> that's gotta make it hard. I'm going to magically know where the heck I'm going. I do not. I don't know. I don't know why I pretend like I will know where I'm going. I didn't go that far though. Look, look, guys, I found it. Yeah. 
Sheesh. My dirt struggles, man. My navigation struggles. Those are something for real. and then I'll deal with all these assholes. I don't want, like, a creeper to spawn and, like, blow something up. I have to, like, repair things. And you guys, you guys, we have a, we have a, we have a new redeem. The sound system is in the booth when it should be out in the house, and the circuits are in this cramped fire hazardous spot. Oh, that sounds awful. You guys can now use your zebra cakes to buy a name tag to name one of the animals. Oh, there's a creeper over there. We gotta take care of him. Oh, damn it, I'm over here too. peripheral and it wasn't really anything that I was like built so that's something well that's not what I was trying to do <laughs> I mean I guess it kept him from shooting me If it rains too hard, it leaks into the stage. Oh, that's awkward as... That's definitely not uh, how that should be. Yeah, that, that, that's unfortunate. We'll go with on that, unfortunate. in here but I don't need it but I do really need always and forever to have the uh yep bone meal because that's uh how you make the petals in the places that is outside of the cherry forest is with uh the bone meal Probably don't have all the dirt that I need yet, but you know. I only want to dig up so much dirt in one go. You know, it, it just, it's one of those tasks that I just, meh. And it would probably like never get done if I didn't have an awesome shovel. So, yay, shovel! My server mates are awesome. They're always giving me really cool tools. So I'm blessed in that regard. I just like show up and they're like, here, have this cool thing. And I'm like, yay. Hey. And 
and life they hang up of the stage are very expensive to replace and take forever to replace too it seems like blah So my goal today is to try to finish this weird hill area. I don't even know what to call it. Like the garden tears, I guess. And then I don't know what will be next. There's definitely a long list of animals that we haven't gotten yet. We still haven't decorated the inside of the castle. I mean, there's still lots to do. Just don't know what's going to be next on the to-do list. But, you know, I feel like Minecraft building projects are, especially if you're, like, not building, like, a finite structure, but, like, an area that you're kind of just building up, there's always, like, more that you can add to it. You can always add, like, another building or another, like, thing. Like, if you make a village, you can always add, like, oh, another little shop or whatever, yeah. It always feels like there's something you can add. It's more when you're ready to like start over, not when the project's done. been building a village, so maybe we can see that soon. I'm not even really sure where she's been building it at. It sounds like you have to travel through the never nether to get there, though, so that's something. You know, like, land in the lava trying to, trying to visit my neighbor. It's fine. Because, you know, I'm that kind of person. We don't have room to store our props anywhere but behind the stage. But we have to store it in a certain way or get written up by the fire marshal. Blah! That's so annoying. Like, I feel like storage is something that's often overlooked when people are building spaces. I don't know how often it's like, there's no place to store the things, no matter like what kind of space we're talking about. It's like, why do people not like just plan for the fact that you have to have stuff to do the things? It, it, it's, it's so annoying. And yeah, lava. We love the lava zones. Mm -hmm. Not really, but you know, we'll just, we'll just say that because it sounds good. Mm, yeah, lava. It, it's more like crispy bacon, but, you know. I still don't quite have enough dirt, but I'm almost there.
Go find my digging hill and get some more dirt. I admire your dedication to a complete dirt foundation. Oh my goodness, I hate it when it's hollow because I forget, like, and later I'll, like, decide I want to modify something and I dig into it and I fall into a giant freaking hole. I hate that. I hate that so much. And I'm such a fickle creature that, like, I'm always changing stuff. So, yeah, it, it, it's... I feel like it's a must. Not to mention that if you leave it hollow, like, this stuff spawns in and then you'll be standing there minding your own business and all you hear are the zombies, like, moaning and groaning underneath you. And it's like, oh my goodness. Yeah, I, I, really, I really don't like the hollow foundation. It does make for, like, a ton more work, though. That's not to put some costumes back there, too, because there isn't enough room in the closet for them. Yeah. It doesn't sound like this space was designed well at all. I agree. I feel like the best situations are when the people who are going to use the space can design it, but that is very rarely how it works. I often find, like, in hospitals and stuff, I'll be like, why did they design it this way? And, I mean, the answer is because it's people who don't work in this space or the people who designed it. So they just, they just don't know any better. And that's probably what happened with, with your guys' theater space. And it's just unfortunate. Listen. Skeleton. God damn it. Can you can you just not Alright, here I go. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you for the follow there, Leo. Maru, I appreciate it. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Well, we're down here now. Uh, you know, it's fine. We'll just dig some dirt down here. Because, well, we need more dirt. I'm wondering why it's not dying. Because I'm whacking him with my shovel! <laughs> or am I on hardcore survival? Oh, this is survival. I would never make a, a hardcore world. It would just make me angry. <laughs> and I wouldn't I wouldn't have a very long lasting world. <laughs> I die way too much for that. I like stop paying attention for a few minutes, and then the next thing I know I've walked off some random ass edge into oblivion. Yeah. <laughs> That's terrible. Hello, Panty Hunter! We love new people! Welcome to the Dazzle! How are you? Is this the new Starfield game? Oh, yes, yes! Look, we have a spaceship! Like, um, uh, would, uh, you, I guess you want to see the spaceship. Uh, 
Look, right here. See that little floating piece of dirt? That is my spaceship and it's anti-gravity and stuff, right? <laughs> I do it, Bounty. Let's name a new friend. Lily, which animal do you want to name? We've got sheeps, we got cows, we have uh, chickens, uh, we got dogs, uh, we've got fish. I'm glad to hear that you're doing good there, Bounty. What does this name of friend even do? You get to name one of our animals! Alright, we're gonna like... Stand here and take it. Really? You're gonna, like, shoot each other? Alright, fine. I guess I'll just jump off the edge. Oh, what? Half a heart? There we go. <laughs> you want a dog? Okay, is there a Carl in here? Um, so there was a Carl, and he got killed by an Illager. So that happened. Um, I think it's kind of like the fate of every Carl to have some weird random death. Like, it doesn't matter what the game is. We, we just, we just, our Carls die. I really need to organize my boxes. It's, it's awful. All right. We need a name tag. We only need one name tag. I just don't... There it goes. I say I just don't remember how to get one. Alright. And then we go across the way. Oh, let me sleep so that it doesn't spawn a bunch of turds. I choose the best name. Any name is the best! <laughs> right? <laughs> Alright. So then we're going with Alexandria. Girl must be a cursed name. Yeah, it kinda it kinda is a cursed name. Um it all started when I played Soma and I picked up this curry, don't ask, but I picked up this curry and I named it I named it Carl. And I say don't ask because I can't explain to you why I picked up a curry and named it Carl. But I did. And we were carrying it through the game and bad things happened. And since then, like every every everyone has had like Trouble. Alexandria. I want to make sure I get it right. Alexandria. There we go. All right. Now we go name a puppy. Look, you're right here. We'll name you. Boop. Alexandria. Da 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 da. And I have to remember how to do a screenshot. Boop. There we go. Yay, we got a puppy! Yeah, and rip Carl, man. All the Carls. They they all the Carls are dying. I don't know how I got here or how I would follow, but here we are, and I love the personality I've seen in the last two minutes. Keep it up. Oh well thank you, Octavia. Uh you were probably one of the many people who came during the strange uh viral event that we had last year it's been almost a year next next month is our one year mark for our weirdness yay we got the doggy all right let's go put in our dirt guys power of dirt weirdness is the best <laughs> It's definitely been a really good, but weird year.
I can't say that I ever expected to have any kind of viral event, and I really, really, really did not expect to have any kind of, like, battery low response to my having done singing. I... I don't have a musical Charging talent. battery. Like, I have no musical talent. None. Like, not even one little microscopic bit. So, <laughs> there's that. I mean, I don't know that I, like, if asked, oh, what's the one thing you'd think you would go viral for? I don't I don't think that I would have an answer for it, but it, musically anything would definitely not be on my list of possibilities, so there's that. I mean, I want to save a save to David Animal, then have a cow. <laughs> yes, you'll be like, I'm having a cow. <laughs> And hello there! Good Vichy! How you doing? And how am I doing today? I am doing pretty good. Yeah, I know that it surprises you all that I didn't charge my battery. I think that it happens almost every stream that you get to hear like, Battery running low! <laughs> I, I wish I could change it to like, my own custom like, sound so that I could like, have it say, Dumbass! You're, you're starving me! Or... Or headphones need food badly. You know, some some like quirky. <laughs> I I could have fun with that, but I yeah I'm always forgetting to like charge it. So yeah, it happens every stream. Every stream I think, if not every stream, definitely the majority of them. So so there's that. <laughs> it happens to you too, there, fishy. In the middle of my stream yesterday, that happened. My battery died in the middle of your stream. Yep, yep. And sometimes it's like in the most awkward moments. I've had it like really be in the middle of an intense like cutscene, and it's like, dude, your battery's dying, and I'm like, sorry guys, I'm so sorry. Hey, Steven, how you doing today? I'm just new here now, <laughs> right? You can be new forever if you'd like. Right now it was in a Minecraft PvP and it died. Don't. <laughs> oh, you're getting ready for school? Nice. Not the Minecraft PvP! You are on like the opposite side of the clock then if you're getting ready for school. I'm like in my evening time. I mean, I know that there are all kinds of time zones and there's people on the other side of the planet and it's like morning there, but it's still like so weird to me. What, I'm a PV peeper. My favorite kit is End Crystal and Axe. Uh, nice. I I am not like a PVPer. I never really play PVP. I don't have anything against PVP itself. I don't like the social culture that so frequently goes with PvP. Um, people feel like being in a PvP environment gives you license to be like jerks to everybody. And I just, I, I can't tolerate that kind of environment at all. Where people are being hateful and verbally abusive and just nasty to each other. So, like, if I'm in a setting where I'm playing with a group of friends and they want to play PvP and I know that everybody's going to stay respectful, sure, I'll be down for that. But, like, random groups on the internet, nope. Bound to be somebody who's got to be a jerk about it. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying how it said that. So basically what you do is hit the shield with axe, then cobweb them, then crit spam, and crystal if they want to get out. I play Bedward sometime. Uh, that's my extent. Oh, Bedwars looks brutal. <laughs> oh, nah. I'm not mean about it. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Can I consider that as a spammer? Consider what as a spammer? Guys, I think that we got this, like, filled in. 
Now we just gotta, like, get it replanted and... Oh, yeah. Well, if you're wondering what's happened, <laughs> so am I. The computer that we have running our news from time to time took off and went wild. So what we're gonna do is turn it over from the... So, I'm gonna, like change this to match the wood that we have everywhere else. I don't know why I randomly made this a different wood, but it bugs the crap out of me now, so while I'm changing everything, I might as well change this too. But I do like that you can walk on it when it has the wood on it. But I'm not going to bother putting the stone at the bottom because if I'm putting the wood on top, you can't see the stone anyway, so there's that. But I need some buckets so that we can fill the water back in. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, great spam. <laughs> uh, I'm not much. I mostly play on mobile, yeah. What's hard about it is if you get hit mid-crit, you get extra knockback. Ugh. I was going to ask a question, but they out. So I'll just put it here. For your followers, did you have a special name for them? Oh, I I usually call people the Dazzle, the, the group. Yeah, you guys are the tree. Group, group is the Dazzleys. And thank you, Alex. I appreciate the follow. If one pig can be a legend at Bed Wars and Skyward, so can the Zebra Pig. <laughs> I don't know that I could be a legend at Bed Wars. I appreciate the vote of confidence, but I don't think that I'm ever going to be equivalent to Technoblade. Yeah, nope. Like, not in Bed Wars, for sure. So, it's kind of a mobility kind of crit. It's hard to do, but if done right, it's deadly. Nice! I think it's like like anything and, it, and if you practice I could probably get better at it but you know since I never do it I, I definitely am not very good at it so I mean I guess there's that all right we definitely are gonna need some cherry wood and oh I do have some slabs but not very many so I think that we're gonna need to grow some more cherry trees so, where's my... Do I have? Do I have? Do I have? I do have bone meal. Nice. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you, Mikado. I appreciate the follow, and hopefully I said your name right. What does your little character zebra pig look like? I want to draw it. Um, my logo and all of my emotes are what zebra pig looks like. Um, his name is Buddha. He's my little avatar. And how you doing today there, M M Mikado? I, I think it's Mikado. Hopefully I'm not butchering it. So 28 cents of Max Netherite. Blah. He has a name, he does. His name is Buta. Yeah, I'll even put it in chat so you can see it. It's Buta. You're so happy to be here. Sorry I was cooking. <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with cooking. We love snacks. What you making? And I'm glad to have you here. You got it from, from killing other players? You're doing good, thanks. I'm glad to hear that you're doing well. I'm having a really good day. It was kind of a weird day, but it was a good day. I'm like training the other nurse and that's been interesting because I feel like I don't really know my job yet and I'm trying to train somebody else to do it. So that's been fun. <laughs> I feel like I'm the blind leading the blind. It's, it's awkward. Oh, you're making 
yes, spaghetti! Spaghetti is one of the best! And I'm doing good. So your SMP has a special feature called Life Seal. Ever heard of it? Nope, and I don't even know what an SMP is, so. You lost your sketchbook for a moment? Oh, well, for a moment. That means you've got it. Whew. Like, losing a sketchbook is so much sadness. Because if it doesn't have anything in it, it feels like you've lost this book of potential. And if you've put sketches in it and you've lost it, then it's like all the sketches you've done are just like, where'd they go? Oh man, I have lost a sketchbook and it is just so like, I don't, it, it's sad. It's, it's something you never want to have happen. It's a server with a bunch of people. Oh, okay. Survival multiplayer. Gotcha, gotcha. So, like, MMO for... For, um... Minecraft. Gotcha. I've definitely never played that. <laughs> like, with, like, lots and lots of people like that. Um... I've played with servers that can have, like, I don't know, 10 or 15 people, I guess. I've never had more than like four or five actually play with me, but. And Life Seal is when you kill someone, you take one of their hearts, and no matter how you die, you lose one. I have 20 hearts, the max. All right, that's cool. I want to do an Origins SMP once I get a PC. Oh, that sounds like it would be cool. So, are there new people on this stream? So, I will ask one more time. What is the best way to hide a body? <laughs> I think that's your favorite question, Panda. <laughs> Alright, guys. What do you think? What's the best way to hide a body? <laughs> I mean, Fishy, you've killed ten people. You gotta know the ways to hide bodies. Surely you don't leave those corpses just laying out for anybody to find, right? I mean, what do you what do you do with the bodies? I think that if you're gonna hide a body, you gotta take them to a pig farm and let the pigs eat them. I mean, that's gotta be a good way to hide a body. Pigs lead anything, even bones. Got distracted and lost some chat there. Are cherry trees in the base game now, or is this a mod? I've not played in a while. So, hi, Storm. How you doing? And, yeah, they totally added cherry trees. So, they're now part of the base game. And I absolutely love them. They're so pretty. So, I've been using them as my primary building wood. And you love Origins? Uh, basically, my team on SMP is the most scary on SMP because all four of us have 20 hearts. Yeah, well, it sounds like you guys have been, like, doing it for a while, too. Six feet under the ground and kill an animal over top to hide the scent. All right. So, Origins is a Minecraft mod that basically gives you superpowers and abilities. Oh, that sounds fun. Basically, a dire server is scared of us. I would say go to some random forest, dig a hole, and lay it six feet deep. Nobody shall know. <laughs> That's how you I on perfectly. Dump it in your neighbor's garden and watch the fun. <laughs> how is Carl Crab doing? I have not checked on Carl the Crab since last night. Uh, the next time I check on him will be when we play Squirn again on Monday. So. Last I knew, he's still his crabby little self. He's definitely, like, my favorite Carl because uh, it heals me. And <laughs> yeah, I definitely need you. all the heals I can get in Scorn. I mean, brr. And thank you, Octobears. I appreciate the follow. 
How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. We got quite a few new people today. It's very exciting. I love new people. I mean, I love the not new people too. I just love people. I have to like keep growing the trees <laughs> and chopping them Thank down you. so I can have the, the wood to build all my stuff with the cherry. That's what all this pink is. So <laughs> hence why I'm just repeatedly cutting down trees. <laughs> I was gonna say, wait a minute. <laughs> Thank you. Panda's like, I'm just gonna make it make the same sound over and over again. <laughs> now fishy too. You guys are like, yes, we're gonna be new people all the time. You can't make me be a regular. <laughs> That's all right. I think Bounty identifies as a permanent new person. I, I think that's kind of a thing here. I've been following for like three months, but I've always been too nervous to type in chat. Oh, well, I'm sorry that, that you've been nervous. I'm glad that you're feeling more comfortable, though. We try to make it nice and friendly here, so everybody feels welcome. We finished the sketch? Nice! I would love to see it. If you would like to share it, you can put it in des the, the Discord. Boop. We have a we have a fan art channel if you if you want to share. I love, I love seeing people's art. Your shoes are always awkward because I have a really bad stutter. Don't make it feel like your stutter means that you're gonna be awkward. It, it's totally fine. I mean, I talk funny all the time. I say like the wrong words. I end up like, Totally misspeaking. I it, I miss English all the time, and it's it's totally okay. Like words are hard, and everybody knows words are hard. And anybody who's gonna be a jerk because you misspeak or stutter is just somebody that you don't need around in your life anyway. So just like kick them out of your channel and move on, right? Like. We don't, we don't need those types. They're just being meanies. I used to get, like, really self-conscious about the fact that I, um... Because of my speech. Like, I have expressive aphasia, so there are times that I forget the word and I can't come up with the right word or the word that I want to say, like gets replaced by the wrong word and I'll say the wrong word and I'll not realize that I said the wrong word. Like to the point where sometimes I'll even repeat the wrong word not realizing I said it. And it, it used to make me feel like really awkward and like I must be dumb if I can't speak properly. But I, I think that I've just come to realize that the people that are going to be hateful about such a minor thing are not people that I want in my life. Like, there are so many more important things about a person than the way that we speak. I think that it's pretty amazing that we can communicate well enough to understand each other at all. I know I haven't had anyone do that. It just feels weird for me because I will repeat sentences three or four times. Yeah. Like, so you yourself just have that, like, kind of self-consciousness. Yeah, and it definitely can take time getting over that. 
for sure. I think that all of us streaming have our personal insecurities and our self-consciousness, like things that we've had to like overcome in order to put ourselves out there. Uh, for me, it was definitely like my expressive aphasia and knowing that I don't always say the right things. That was definitely one of the things that I had to like kind of be comfor more comfortable with to stream. Um, one of the other things that I had to get more comfortable with was my crazy hair. Uh, <laughs> it took me a while uh, to get to the point where I would actually stream without my hat on. Because my, my hair kind of just does its own thing. Um, sometimes it'll just like... I just stick up in every direction and I can never control it. So I used to be really super self-conscious about that. It took me a while to be comfortable enough to be like, all right, like, here's my hair, guys. This is, this is what it does. It's just, it's just my hair. But it's a really nice place when you get to the point when you are comfortable with, with all of that stuff and you can be like, yeah, this is, this is, this is what, this is what I am. And I will say that's one benefit to streaming that I didn't expect and I didn't realize that I was going to get from streaming is that I have become more comfortable with myself. So when I'm going out and about like at work or like just hanging out with other people in real life, I've become a lot more comfortable with my personal quirks. <laughs> And like the weird noises that I make and stuff when I'm excited. And I've, I've just been less self-conscious in general. And that's been really cool. That's been a perk that I didn't expect to get from streaming. That's been really nice. You're cooking macaroni for Zed and Otis. Ah, oh, we love pasta. We love snacks. What are you having with your macaroni? Is it like plain with butter? Or are you having some cheese with it? Or or sauce? I could like eat macaroni all day long. Yeah, it feels weird because I'm a younger streamer. Yeah. On top of the stutter. Don't worry, you're gonna get comfortable. Just give yourself time and be patient with yourself and just know that with time, you're you're gonna find your own style and your own way of doing it. And and just, just, just let it be the way that it is. It's, I promise, it's gonna be okay. Everybody has a niche. I mean, when you ask for someone's name, you're just asking what noise to make to get their attention, right? Exactly. <laughs> this, this is my noise to identify. You know, it's we're, we're language is so weird. Uh, why don't you have a pig squishmallow? Also, you should have showing us the other squishmallow an option for zebra cakes. <laughs> so I I do have two pig squishmallows. I have a whole total of three. Um, May is like my my llama core buddy that I, like I I sleep with her. She pretty much goes all places with me. She's like one of my major comfort items. She was never intentionally in a stream in the beginning she just sort of happened to be because when i first started streaming i didn't have like a dedicated streaming space so um i actually streamed in bed so she just ended up in almost every stream because that's that's where may lived so it just became a thing for may to be in my my streams and when i got a dedicated space people were like oh where's may so I just I've just made a, a thing. May May is now earner spot in in the stream. Um, and as far as like introducing other other stuffed animals, I mean we could like maybe have like random pig for the day, and you can like randomly introduce. I can randomly introduce like one of my uh, stuffed pigs because I I have many. There, there are many stuffed pigs. It's not just said in Otis by any means. <laughs> and you're making homemade cheese sauce. Ooh, that sounds so good. Mac and cheese. Like, that's a like, food snack stable. Mmm. -hmm. You will find your place in the circle of life. Yes. Give it time, young grasshopper. <laughs> Mm 
there's probably like wood still in there because these are not like breaking up as much as I thought they would. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I do have a friend. He's been streaming for like six years. Oh, that definitely helps. I would be seven when he started streaming. <laughs> yeah, it helps when you have somebody who's been doing it a while to kind of like be a guide and help you along. And thank you, PC Dojen. I appreciate the follow. I need 640 more points. The grind is on. <laughs> is your chat behind? Um, It could be a lag. Am I lagging? It could also be that the pig is lagging. Sometimes I don't, like, process quickly, <laughs> so it could be me. But let me refresh my Twitch screen. And hopefully, hopefully that, like, if there's any lag, we'll clear that up. He's, like, 34. Nice, nice. Maybe we just talk fast? <laughs> uh, I, I process like language a little bit slower i think than the average person so there's definitely times when chat's going and i have a delay and i have to like scroll back and go back to like things that i because i try really hard to like read all my chats and talk to people um but yeah i i could definitely be slow for sure so i would be more inclined to blame it on on slow pig processing than lag on the computer <laughs> Oh, well, thank you, PC Dojen. I appreciate that so much. Thank you for the vote of confidence. And you came from the Instagram? Well, thank you for coming and checking us out after seeing us over there. He's a pretty good friend, and he's basically my guide. Oh, Fishy, that's awesome. I love that you have, like, a mentor to help you through the process. I just kind of dived into this, had no idea what I was doing. And it would have been so helpful to have somebody who'd been doing it for a while to, like, give me pointers and stuff. Because I've been at it for a year, and I'm just now starting to feel like I know what I'm doing with my stream. And just, like, not that I'm an expert, but I feel like I'm just starting to get my feet under me. It, it's definitely a learning curve. It's... Whew. And hello there, Eb, Eb Chesser, how you doing? And you're from Brazil, nice. Just wait, you will find your place in the great circle of life. Yeah, Thurtrude is pretty young. You've got lots of time to figure all the things out. Man, I, I, I look back at like 13 year old me and I, I feel like I was so lost and clueless. Not to say that every 13-year-old is. I just, I was. I mean, I think I was for a long time because I didn't know some, like, really important things about myself. Like, I didn't know that I was autistic at ADHD until I was, like, I think I was 25 when I was diagnosed. And not knowing that about myself made it so that I, I felt like... I was broken and I was just failing at life and I couldn't figure out like why I couldn't do the things that like everybody around me was doing really easily. So I was judging myself by the wrong standard. So I wasn't giving myself credit for the things that I was doing better than average and was only looking at the things that I wasn't doing as well as everyone else. So yeah, I, I, <laughs> I was kind of like, I don't know. And angsty, confused, all the way up until mid twenties for sure. There's there was lots of that going on, um, and I think that I'm behind on my redeems. I see there's a stack here. I did that one. We did the random question. We did that one. We did that one. Ah, we have a wiggle. Thank you, Dana. Everybody, let's wiggle. And thank you, Leo. I appreciate the reminder in the queue because I sometimes do like miss a. Oh, and you have ADHD too. You are also amongst the clan.
Can we do a name poll for an animal also? Did you get fences on the farm? I do not have all of my fences built. I'm currently collecting wood so I can do more building because there's definitely more fences that need to happen. Uh, if you have autism, that explains why I like you so much. <laughs> oh, you're also autistic? Well, welcome, Leo. How you doing? Yay! <laughs> we do tend to seem to gravitate towards each other. It's it's kind of interesting how that works. But I used to feel like I I I was missing really important pieces and I was broken. Like I didn't know that I had face blindness until like I was 30 and So I couldn't recognize people outside of con I, I I can't recognize people outside of context that they're in. Like, so if I meet you at work and I see you later at like gr the grocery, I'm not going to know who you are. And it made it really hard because I I didn't know that about myself, so I couldn't tell like other people. So there were just a lot of things that made it so that I was super awkward socially and struggling and... Whew! I mean, I feel like sometimes I'm <laughs> still socially you. awkward, but it's fine, it's fine! <laughs> you have ADHD and autism and you were diagnosed around 10. I think that there is a lot of advantages to being diagnosed early and and there's a part of me that really wonders like how different things would have been if I had been. You love this song? I, I love this radio station. It's been wicked good. Magnets, but with neurodiversity. It really does feel that way. He's kind of my dad because my dad left me at like age two and he has been there for me even though I met him on Twitch. I think of him as family. I think that that's awesome, and I'm really glad that you have that person in your life. And I have no idea if I said thank you, Echo, for following. So, if not, thank you! I appreciate the follow, Echo! And how you doing today? I don't have autism, but I remember my grandfather used to work with them, and when I went to work with her... Oh, your grandmother. I can't even read. <laughs> Uh, my grandmother, and then I went to work with her. I learned that people with autism are just like everyone else. It doesn't matter what you have. We are all the same and all different. I think that that's super true. Like, I think that, like, everybody has strengths and differences. And I think that everybody has, um, like, areas that they're not good at and areas that they are good at. And I think that regardless of what we have going on in our lives, by the nature of being human, we all have, like, inherent value. And I think that if we can get better as a society at embracing our diversity, I think that it would be better for us as, as a whole. Like, the reason that our... our humans are so successful is because of our diversity like that's why we're able to adapt to so many different types of environments is because of the diversity in our genes i think that should be celebrated we're successful because of our diversity i think it's what makes us cool i think it's what makes us interesting but that's just me <laughs> Cue me, a 24-year-old, hearing from my therapist that they think I might have autism and things just kind of clicking and making more sense. Like, it really does when you get a late diagnosis. Like, because, yeah, I was like 20, I think it was around 25. And you're just like, oh. And you, like, look back at everything and it changes the context of your whole life. And you're just like, oh, Wow. Uh, oh, oh yeah, oh. Oh, I didn't, I didn't realize. <laughs> You're so very welcome. I was happy to follow a lovely soul like you. Oh, well, thank you, Echo. I appreciate that. 2080 is just a good background song. I, I do think this is a good background station. This is the, um, Pretzel Rocks, uh, R&B station. 
It's got a nice, like... I, I'm... Like, it's not super intrusive, but it's got, like, a nice peppy beat to it. So it's got, like, a good... a good mix of things. This turned from a stream to a TED Talk? <laughs> you know, I'm pretty notorious for having these, like, random deep discussions on my stream. Sometimes we get pretty intense around here. Uh, we, we, we talk about just about anything around here. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> we love TED Talks. <laughs> so, what are you working on there in Minecraft? Wood. Yes, I'm like trying to. I'm trying to like get a whole bunch of wood because I need to build more fence, and I need to like. And I actually got distracted and started talking and wasn't even paying attention to how much wood I have, guys. I have a bunch of wood now. <laughs> Woo! We've got wood. All right, we probably have enough wood that we can, like, build for a while now. <laughs> Some of these discussions could change people's perspective and their situations and lives. Keep it up. Oh, well, thank you, Breezy. I just try to keep things real, you know? I just... I, I try not to, like, censor too much of chat. As long as people are being respectful, I feel like having conversations about real life can be useful. And if people are asking questions about stuff, I think that it's useful to... I don't know, just talk about stuff for real. Like, I don't think that people are ever going to know what it's like to, to, to know and hang out with an autistic person if they don't know that I'm autistic. Like, if I don't, if I don't share that experience. And if we don't talk about what our struggles are and what our needs are, then we can't expect people to respect those things. So, I mean, it's, it's, I think it's important that everyone shares like their perspectives and their life experiences so that we can all do better at helping and supporting each other. Hey, I get distracted on Minecraft too and I'm always in creative mode though. I, I don't think that I like ever play in creative mode. I I just like pick one mode and just stay there. I pretty much always play in survival. Um, but you can do some really cool stuff in creative mode. And I apparently had some cherry fence, so there's that. Man, I don't know what I'm doing, apparently. Apparently, we didn't need to get as much wood as I did, but we have wood now. All right, here we go. We got wood, guys. We got wood. <laughs> Spread the truth of the zebra pig. Oh, goodness. Oh, we're doing, we're doing angry pig. Okay, let me pull him out. He's, like, right on top, too. <laughs> Y'all, I'm halfway to our animal name. <laughs> this is not creative mode. No, this is survival mode. I mean, I'm definitely mostly playing it creatively, but this is survival mode. I remember when I was little, I built a treehouse in Minecraft and it got struck by lightning! <gasps> oh my goodness, I would be so upset! What's the difference? Uh, you can die. <laughs> and I think that in creative mode you can fly and you have like endless supplies. So in survival mode, you have to like actually gather your stuff. You have to like harvest it from the world. While in creative mode, you just have like infinite pockets that you can pull things up. But the biggest difference is like d that you can die. <laughs> I would probably still find a way to die. Yeah, you're, you're probably right. I'm really good at like, I'm just going to randomly die today. <laughs> yeah, I'm, you're not wrong.
I was following a building tutorial once on my Xbox, was building some mansion, it was following the tutorial to a T, and then I got so mad because the tutorial was done on PC, which meant mods, and I didn't have mods on Xbox, so I gave up. Ah! Uh, yeah, I don't tend to use mods, and sometimes I'll be like, follow, like trying to follow along with somebody, and then I realize that they're using mods, and it, it's so frustrating. It's like, I, I, it's fine if you're using mods, but just like, say so up front so that I know that it's not a thing that I can do. I think that's what frustrates me about it, is when people don't like, put that out there right away, and then you're just like, ah, no! How did I in creative mode? Switch to survival, right? <laughs> Go to the void, I mean, right? How did you manage to do all this in survival? How many hours of grinding? Uh, I don't know how many hours we've been playing, but this, this is, this has been most of the year that we've been on this stream. We've been playing Minecraft, so there's a lot of hours in this. I just sort of putter around and talk and play and... And this is like my first building project, so I don't really know what I'm doing. So it probably has taken me way longer to do than like anybody who's actually built regular. <laughs> creep got held. Let me, let me. Ah, there we go. Auto mod thinks creep is bullying. <laughs> it looks so good. Oh, well, thank you. When I switch to survival from creative, I make sure to turn it on people so the creepers don't creep. Exactly. <laughs> so, most of the stuff in this world I haven't built. It's been just like around the castle that I've done. The really cool parts have been built by Siri and Misraj. They they've got like next level stuff. I think my favorite part of the world is the, is the pig racing track. That's definitely my favorite. In in class, if you're streaming, I might pipe in. Uh, since I don't like since I don't like paying attention. <laughs> Right? Really making me want to start up a Minecraft world again. <laughs> well, thank you guys. I'm glad that you're enjoying the world. Alright, let's need some more water. Boop -a -doop -a -doop. I still haven't decided what I'm gonna do, like, inside the castle. So we just have this, like, hollow, empty castle. It's... It's kind of sad. <laughs> I built it, and then I'm just like, mm, I'm not decorating it, but okay. And it just hasn't happened. It's, it's, it's a thing. I don't think I can just, oh, maybe I can. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, perfect. I don't have to, like, run all the way back there. I mean, last time I ran all the way back there because I had to sleep, and that's where my bed is, so. I try to, like, sleep all the time so I don't end up with a whole bunch of, like, creepers blowing my ass up, but, you know. I once started a horse farm from scratch on Minecraft, and I have a thing for anything horses because of my favorite animal. Nice! Make a throne room in the cancel or a big fancy bedroom. I did think that, like, a... Um, like one of the dining hall, like almost like a Viking dining hall would be fun. Or like a throne room with like a dais would be cool. Uh, you should make a throne for Carl that lives longer than a day. <laughs> Decorating is hard in this game. It so is. I will say that's one thing that I really like about Portal Knights more than I like about uh, Minecraft is that Portal Knights, you can really decorate. Like, they have so many decoration options. It's amazing. Love how we had the same idea almost. <laughs> right? You guys really did. You were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
my gaming setup, a TV, a monitor, a keyboard, a mouse, a controller, an Xbox, and a spidey chair. The number one best setup, <laughs> right? I'm, all, I'm still in the process of like figuring out my space in this room. I'm always like tweaking where things are and what I have and yeah. I think that's just me though. I don't I don't know that it'll ever become totally static and figured out. I have a school chair as my gaming setup. I've been begging for a better one. Blah. It's so rough when you have like a crappy chair. Uh, I think it's just yeah. Boop. I use these all the time, so I'm just gonna make a bunch of them. Like all of the far, all of the animal houses end up using half slabs for the roof. So, and now I got bunches. I will admit, I'm a simmer. I play, oh, I play The Sims for decorating houses even though I'm trash at it. <laughs> I really like decorating houses. I did not know that this was a thing in me until I started playing um, Elder Scrolls Online. And in that game, you can buy houses and you can like decorate them. And I'm telling you, hours. I have spent so many hours like collecting furniture so, and like decorating them and sorting out and just, it, it's, it is a thing, man. I won't say that I have ever ended up with a cool looking house in ESO, but man, I put in a lot of effort. It is so crazy. <laughs> hey, you, hey, you, yes, you. Would you like a pop quiz? Sure, give us a pop quiz. We love quizzes. Have I played House Flipper? That's a game? I didn't, like, you, 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 like, buy a house, make it cooler, and then sell a house, house flipper? Oh! No, I never even heard of it! I bet that would be fun. I don't like decorating houses in real life because I have way too much anxiety because of the commitment and the amount of money. Like, I, I worry too much that... Like, I'll not like it in, I don't know, a year or two, and then you've spent all this money on it. Yeah, there's, well, there's so much anxiety when it comes to, like, I gotta pick a thing for a real house. But, like, in a video game, it gets rid of all of that because, like, why does it matter? You know, I can just change my mind. It's a game. It's okay. It's fine. Like, nobody's gonna be mad if I, like, spend a hundred like, fake gold and, and end up hating it later. What country produces the most carrots? China, Minecraft, or UK, or Taiwan? Oh, definitely Minecraft! How is Minecraft a country? Isn't it a world? <laughs> I mean, I guess you're not wrong. It kind of is like a whole world. <laughs> we need our sugar cane. We can get that planted again. You tried ESO? Did you like it? I have this weird mixed relationship with MMOs. I get super lost and confused in them. So in general, I'm also kind of iffy about them. Oh, I need to decorate up here. Biggest thing about MMOs is that they're really super dependent on... I mean, they're set up for you having a lot of people to play with. And if I don't have a lot of people to play with, then I don't get to do all the cool content. And that's kind of sad because I don't always have people to play with. So yeah, I end up with these like mixed relationships with any MMO. And I've gotten to where I, I just feel like I, I don't want to invest <laughs> in MMOs because they can be so frustrating. You're rushing to get a thousand because then I gotta leave after eight. <laughs> House Flipper gets. Flips, uh, 
House Flipper has pets and HGTV items. Ooh! You loved Skyrim, never finished it. I started ESO with a friend and then stopped getting on. And yeah, exactly. Like your buddy stops getting on and now you don't have a pal to play with and it's like, what do I do with that? It's so like frustrating. And this has happened to me like in so many MMOs. Like I'll have a group to play with and then they move on and then I'm like, what do I do now? I know I have flowers. It helps if I look in the flower box. It's fine, guys. I got this. Whew! Do you play horror games? I play 95% horror games. <laughs> like, Monday and Tuesday I was playing Scorn, and that was an adventure. Yeah, most of most of the games that I play are horror for sure. And do I play Roblox? No, I've never played Roblox. Blo Roblox. And I do not have any intention of playing Roblox. I feel like Roblox is a game that has too many problems. Oh, I got that one down there already. I got that one. Yeah. You don't play much horror, just State of Decay. I haven't played State of Decay. Is it good? Occasionally Call of Duty Zombies? Call of Duty Zombies? What? Going silent to join the Discord? Ha! <laughs> you should definitely join the Discord. We, we do stuff just on Discord. We hang out. We play games. Sometimes we watch movies. And that is definitely where I, like, communicate all the things, like, what's going on in in the, the Zebra Pig world. So if you want to know, like, what we're doing for our schedule, what games we're playing to play next, all that kind of stuff. If you want to make suggestions, the Discord is the place to be. Hello, Ollie! How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Welcome, welcome! You're playing Minecraft right now? Nice! It is a good game? Nice! Yeah, I've heard of State of Decay, but I've, I've never played it. And of course, I am always looking for new games. I mean, I say this, and I've never managed to, like get my two playlists down to zero. I'm always adding to it. I think there's like literally on my wish list on Steam right now, I think there's a hundred items. It's kind of gross. And yet I'm always like, oh you got a you got a game recommendation for me? I, I might have a problem guys. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like, last I looked, I think it was, like, 100 games, and I'm just like, no, 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 I, 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 I still can have more on my wish list. I need all the games! All the games! I mean, the sad truth is that there are way too many games, and I have not enough time or money to play them all. <sighs> like, just, there's just not enough time and money. I'm gonna need, like, all the lifetimes to play them. Have I played Minecraft yet? No, no, no. I don't I don't think I'm ever going to try Minecraft. That game seems too, like, low in graphics. Doesn't look like there's enough building options. I, I don't know. I don't think it's for me. I, I don't think I could put many hours in it. <laughs> You're back. I'm a slow reader. And lots and lots of rules to read. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hutch is coming in and he's like, okay. As I'm going on and on about, like, not playing Minecraft, he's like, uh huh, while I'm playing Minecraft. <laughs> I, I love it when my roommates are like, you're going a little cray cray right now. Mm. 
Random thing, I've had a lot of free time and had a creative world on Minecraft. I started on PS3 and now I'm on PC. I think it started around 2015 or something. Nice! Oh, Lily, you're gonna name a critter? Oh, wait, Leo gets to choose. <laughs> you guys are like, oh, the poor little animals in the in the flocks. <laughs> Wait for a raid, right? <laughs> you really want Faith Farm on Steam? Oh, I guess I don't. I'm not familiar with that one. You know, I put this fence up too soon. That's 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 what the answer is. I just need to chop this fence down and I'll build it after I have all my plants in and then it'll be fine. I don't know if I have enough of these little chivy things. But these are I don't. All right. These are the best plant, but I can't have like half a row. That just looks derpy. Oh, okay, apparently I really don't have any of that one. At this rate, I'm gonna have to go on a plant hunt, too. Fighting for the name, right? It just got re released recently. It's a farming RPG, I believe. Ooh. You have a joke? I like jokes! Just make sure they're twitch appropriate! Well, I don't want it because it wasn't my redeemed. Oh, well. No, you think it's a gift for me to you. Oh, dear. You think the name that it's your redeemed. Oh, my goodness, people. Your computer has decided to update, so I don't know when I'll be able to give you a tour. Oh, okay. Well, hi, Siri. How you doing? Well, if you can give us a tour tonight, that would be cool. If not, that's okay. We understand. You're tired. Yeah, that's fair. You just got out of work. I mean, what do you get when you cross an elephant with a rhino? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I mean, things have signs and you know how to walk, <laughs> right? If not, then we'll have to use the forbidden whale. <gasps> There's a whale. Elfino? This is the processing wheel. Elf, if I know. Oh, okay, I got it, I got it. <laughs> I'm like, I don't get it. It's because I didn't say it right. <laughs> See, this happens to me with jokes all the time. I like... Managed to like mangle them up in my head and not understand what's happening. It's it's fine. Everything's fine. <sighs> my joke saga continues. Ah, uh, zebra pig and joked. Yep, yep, that that that's what happens. All right, so we're naming a chicken Proc. <laughs> okay, let's go get the name tag. Now that we have settled on the name. You have a riddle? Oh dear. Uh, I think they were in this one. No, guess not. I really, really need to organize my shit. What breaks but never falls, what falls but never breaks. We're naming him. Proc. 
And it's gonna be a chicken. Okay. What well, breaks but never falls, falls but never breaks. You're gonna see smoke coming out of me here soon. Now I shall never be nice again! Because you got a chicken. Why did the chicken stand on the sidewalk? Uh, because he was indecisive and didn't cross the road? I don't know. I also don't know what falls and doesn't break. All right, chicken, you are proc. Look at the glorious proc. <laughs> Night and day. All right, all right. Nice, nice. All right, all right. Yes, all hail proc. Oh, I tried to get him while he was looking at me, and he turned right before I took the picture. Did you see that shit? Did you see that invasive, like, shit? Is he's like, nope, don't get take my picture. And then he ran, and once you get any way away, the name tag disappears. So, he's in here somewhere, but fuck if I know where. We got a bunch of eggs now. I think I just got like a picture of his butt the second time because he turned and ran as soon as I was trying to take a picture of him. I was like, oh, he's conveniently turned and faced me. I like get a picture of his face. How cute and adorable. He's like, nope, nope, nope. I didn't consent to photos. I'm like, all right, fine, dude. I get it. Okay. I guess. Now I have a picture of your ass. I don't know how that's better, but okay. Um. Those are all facing weird. I, all right, fine. I guess we have a bunch of these. We'll do another one of those. We have a bunch of. I think we have enough to do daisies. There we go. All right, we got it. We got it. Got it. Look at all those chickens. Yeah, we got one or two. And I got 12 more minutes before you gotta go. Why, why are you headed? Not with your money or points? <laughs> oh, we got Siri in the game. Woohoo! There, that looks way better. Yay, we got flowers. I almost think that I like the ones that are too tall better than all the other ones. Maybe we should make them all the too tall ones. I don't think that I have enough of the two tall ones to get all of them, though. All right, but they look way better. I'm being too picky for my own good, but here we are. Oh, you have a time limit. Gotcha. I remind you of your sibling red. Oh, no. Leo reminds you of your sibling red. Gotcha. My OCD kicks in really bad when I play Minecraft. You know, I feel like that happens to me, too. Like, especially with, like, symmetry and, like, the, the counting of things. Oh, it's bad. I'm like, Minecraft, you are, you are, you're a trigger trap.
You're poking me. Oh, we're supposed to be going to sleep. It's nighttime. Sorry. Let me get in bed. And then, and then we will do the tour because you're on. Yes! Am I a younger sibling? <laughs> no, but that works too. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. That's what I thought we were doing. <laughs> okay, nap time. <laughs> I was having you travel. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have so much stuff. Okay. I guess I should eat. Why are nurses afraid of the outdoors? Because there's too many people out there. I don't know. Why are we afraid of the outdoors? They don't like it when I get them gifts and try to refute it. <laughs> Too much poison ivy. Oh. You don't like gifts either. <laughs> yeah, gifts can be gifts can be weird. Alright, so where am I where am I where am I traveling? Am I going to the nether portal? Why do duck? What do duck? Why? I think it's not supposed to be. Why do ducks have webbed feet? Yep. I don't know. Why do they have webbed feet? So they can swim more better? Piglins, leave me alone long enough to let me join Discord. <laughs> oh, let me join Discord too then. Um, let me make sure that my settings are right, because I don't think that they are. Because I can't hear you. Uh... Hey, hello, hello. Yay, so... we can hear you now! We can hear Yay. you again! No, don't be stupid, ugly. No one cares. No one cares! Yeah, go away. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm not wearing gold. What are you gonna do about it? Yes, the person that you are now hearing is Siri Skulk. She's one of the mods. She's also one of my uh, uh, yeah, that. server mates and has done a lot of the building on the server. And she is the one that was building the village and is gonna give me a tour as soon as I can figure out where I'm supposed to go. The nether portal? Lou By says the end. hi. Hello, Lou. Oh, sorry, Leo. Leo, okay. I know the annoying feeling when you want something, but you have to wait another day. <laughs> right? Uh, another portal is that way. Next to the end. I was gonna say, it's that way. I just had to like. Rearrange. You ran by it. Okay. No, I excellent. didn't. It's right there. Okay, well, from what I'm seeing on the screen, you ran by it. How about that? I mean, okay, maybe I did. I probably did. I, 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 it's fine. Well, in order to go from your castle to where you were, you had to have run by it. That's entirely possible. It's, it's fine, it's fine. It was lovely chatting with you tonight. Time to sleep now, so work calls early. I look forward to more streams. Well, thank you, Echo, for coming and hanging out. We, we loved having you here, and you sleep well. And the uh, road from point A to point B is uh, a work in progress, so, you know, don't, don't squint at that too hard. Um, you rocked the wrong way. I clearly go. did. I'm like, where did you go? I gotta go get some sleep and try to fix my sleeping batter. Have fun watching. Well, good night, Agent. You sleep well. Thanks for hanging out. We are now siblings of the chat. <laughs> Man, where's my carrot? She keeps stopping. Sorry, 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 sorry. No, no, no ah. go away. Ah. Leave her alone. Let's do the piglin. Oh, I think I hit you that time. Sorry. As you killed the piglin when I was swinging at him. That That's all right. You gave me good armor. I didn't did die. Uh, 
<laughs> you guys are blighting chaos. How delightful! <laughs> Nope, oh, you walked inside. <laughs> Am I not supposed to walk inside? Apparently the piglin was shooting me through the portal and the arrows went through the portal. That's fantastic. Because they count as entities. <laughs> oh, that's... I love your banner! Thanks! Your banner is awesome! Chaos for life! Well, you're in the right place. We got all kinds of chaos here. Nice. So if you if you come up the stair the ladder over here, see the map. I don't think I've updated this map in a while, have I? Oh, I did. Excellent. Oh, this is a, this one's a walk on map. Yep. So we're currently standing where the green the green is on this part. So there's the castle, and then the lower town area, and then over here is the proper town. Oh yeah, because you know we don't want it to be too small. <laughs> and then, well, my mapping of the land is a working progress. Yes, chaos! Well. Count your days, Zebra! Count them well! Right? Yeah, and the map so is that, definitely a work in progress, but that's alright, you're getting there. Like I said, but that's a lot of ocean to choreograph. Your task can be filled with all, all new sort of chaos. Oh, okay. Alright, alright. Oh, you so have this, Alice. This is the Hall of, of Maps and Magic, which is where the portals and the alchemy and the maps and such are. Nice. Um, alright, and then, that's kind of the middle of town, by this little town. Ooh. So then you got the... Guys, we're getting a 50 cent tour! Is, yeah, this is kind of our stables. Is spamming allowed or no? Can I do slow spamming? I guess it depends on what you mean by spamming. And what you're spamming, I suppose. Um, <laughs> Definitely got to be like nice, whatever you're putting up there. There's no okay, it's like sibling sibling chaos. Um, as far as like frequency of chatting and like if you're just like I don't know putting up like empty comments and other people are trying to talk, I would say try to be respectful of other people talking, but. If you want a Dorito spam and like nobody else is talking, that's that's fine. Yeah, Dorito spam which has happened before. I mean, this big. But just like keep in mind that you know you don't want to like spam and like make it so that other people can't talk to each other. But that's just be mindful of other peeps. So the over here's the dock. Yeah, the, the, the Dorito spam definitely is a thing. So there, there's the docks where you would come in. The entrance to the town here, oh, and then there's the I stables. Like that, where you've got the like boat parkage. Yeah, dock. And then Yeah. <laughs> next to that parkage. would be the stables. And then there's gonna be the lighthouse in the end. So in here would be where people could visit and take a bed to take a nap. Um uh, uh, Mr. City Paws, how you doing, buddy? I'm sorry, I don't have any fish. I would give you some chicken, but apparently cats don't eat chicken in this game. No, <laughs> and the Doritos have started. Yes. Yeah, they are. <laughs> They're the Doritos! <laughs> but yes, so it, it's kind of like similar setup to some of the other end rooms. So they're, you know, little end rooms. Yeah! Um, nice! It's... And upstairs is, is more in rooms. I think it's just a mirror I downstairs. think that this is an interesting then... way to, like, partition off the uh, stairs without swallowing up a, a bunch of extra space. Trap doors are amazing. Um, and then these in rooms up here, I can't they're say a little I smaller in space, trap doors to like... but they have the balcony where you can come out and look over. Well, thank you, Leo, for coming and hanging out. You have a fabulous night. So you can kind of look out over the ocean. Oh, and some wow, of the other that's parts a cool of town. view. Ooh, look at the ocean, guys. Yep, big and oceany. And there's another dock over there. Um, Ooh, look at the boat, guys. We'll get in Ooh. one in a moment. Don't you worry. I am worried. I, you tried to decapitate me when we were in a boat. Oh, my word. You're so dramatic. You do! Yeah. When we get in a boat, you try to decapitate me. I mean, this one just leads to the different balconies up here, so you can get a slightly higher view out and about. 
and then the rest of it is the tower. Um, but you I technically try have a and make a simple version of your logo in Minecraft. All right, cool. Love to see it. I I technically have the rest of this is. Um, oh wait, I lost you. Where did you go? I went up the stairs again. Up the stairs. Um, okay. And the rest of this is technically the maintenance access for the lighthouse in case um, it stops working because Redstone does that sometimes. So these are the, the, maintenance, the maintenance elevators. The maintenance access. I love that that's a thing. Because, well, I've played Minecraft long enough to know how Redstone likes to behave in this game. And let me go all the way down the stairs. Back the to Mr. City Pause. Ah, you totally navigate these stairs inside. Everything's fine. All right. So there's the stables, and then over here, this little house here is my mine. So the, at the entrance to my mine here, and I, I've got the water elevators going. Nice. So we've got down and up, and some little storage and stuff behind it. Using the magnet blocks and the soul sand. And Where there was conveniently a mine. Well, if we come to the other side. So, see how the science is down and up? If we go this way and you hold shift, you go zero down. And then you can walk out to one side or the other. Oh, you have to keep holding shift or the magnet will cook you. And then to get up, you use the soul sand. Whee! And you. Oh, well, that's interesting. Well, that's cool! <laughs> Guys, I'm like a bottle rocket! I just... <laughs> Have some Doritos okay. to help you navigate the stairs, right? <laughs> Give me snacks while I fall down. <laughs> Alright, and then this area back here is kind of the back work area of my blacksmith. So here's my cobblestone Do we need generator to take a nap? here. Nah, we should be fine. Um, I should have everything lit up well enough. Um, so here's the cobblestone generator. Here's my lava farm. Dad, um, I'd say it's a freaking lava farm. You put my lava farm to shame. <laughs> and then here's my basalt generator over here as well. Um, I'm super indignant that there's not a deep slate generator. I would just like to put that out into the void. Like, Mojang, Microsoft, where the heck is my deep slate generator? <laughs> um, anyway. And then, and here's the smithy. I have a whole bunch of furnaces and stuff. Nice, nice, nice. And we come out here to the other door. I know, I'm confusing you with multiple doors. Mm -hmm. And then, gee, we walk by the other side of the, the maps and magic hall. And then this, this is the tree nursery. Tree which house. is where I kind of have one of most of the single trees growing in here. So that if for whatever reason I lose saplings or something, I can get more from here. Those chests are just kind of sitting in standby storage. They don't really have anything in them at this point. At least I don't think they do. How about that? <laughs> I love that I'm like a nosy fuck and I have to look. <laughs> I don't even want your stuff. Just gotta look. <laughs> I'm so like that. Yes. So so that's my, my tree nursery area. And then this is the garden. Ah! Say hello to the sniffer. What are you? He's a sniffer. Oh, hey, You're we got a seed. You're adorable! Thanks for the seed, bud. Hi, buddy! Yep, they're one of the new ones that was added. You have to, look like... Look at him! 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 Yes, come here. Come here. We you can get closer to him if you come here. You've got this I'm back, and there's a Dorito raid, right? Doritos! I'm sorry, what? This way. This way, Zebra Pig. This way. This way. Oh. And then you can get a little closer to the sniffer. So, he's the new mod mob that was added with the archaeology that you have to like fish them out of warm oceans it's kind of a whole pain it took me forever to find two of them um i think i actually but i do have down three some of your grass i did because it was in front of the gate and i thought it was annoying to be too tall there oh, oh okay um no they're both on the same side hey guys yes these are the two og sniffers that i got out of the oh, look at uh, him, guys. bottom of the ocean look at um, him aren't they adorable I don't know how long it's been since they've sniffed, dug up a seed. I like um, that every time they sniff, their nose bounces. Look at it, it's adorable. 
But basically, when they like, when they're searching for a seed, they'll like put their nose in the ground and walk back and forth sniffing. And then when they find something, they'll like flop out all of their legs and like nose in the ground and pop out a seed. And then they have this little <laughs> celebratory dance. Hello there, Royal. How you doing? No, she doesn't have those in the zoo because they're a royal pan they asked to get a hold of. I, yeah, I didn't even know they were a thing. I just met them for the first time ever. I mean, I guess I have enough torch flowers. I probably could get you a breeding pair oh. um, if I bred them because uh, they do dig up the seeds, but you can only breed them with the seeds that they dig up. Um, so I could get you a sniffer or two of your own if you would like. I would just have to convince these two to get it on. Um, and then this is, these are my apiaries in the middle of the garden here. So on each side, oh, you walked right through it. On each side, <laughs> I have the hives with some, some oh, chives. Oh, nice. Guys, Guys like she built this stuff with all this stuff going on in like, I don't know, a, a quarter of the time, if that, then... Um, not exactly. Most of the time that you've been building, I've been building. Um, yeah, but you've got, like, way more than I did. All right, and then the last thing for this area is, well, the castle. Oh, well, we'll see a real castle, guys. Play some Careless Whisper? Where's Careless Whisper? That'll put them a in song. the song. Oh, that's a, that's a song? <laughs> Yes, that's I'm thinking video game immediately. <laughs> so this is Ciri's castle. Ooh. Drawbridge, nice. That that would be a portcullis, but it's you know, fine. that's fine. This so, would be an example uh, of using the wrong word. <laughs> it's fine. It's, it's so fine. In, the in the bottom and the tops of these towers are technically where I have idiots. So if you like hover over that sign, the item frame, efficiency. it'll have yep, efficiency five. And because villagers are stupid and they kept trying to walk outside and kill themselves on the stairs, they get trap doors, not real doors. Um, <laughs> but they each have their own little house and a, a symbol of basically what they're selling. And this is actually the dudes I use to make our armor and tools. So ah, if something okay. dies. This is how I do make it. And here's a place for a pony. Um, my pony I left down in the stables. I but agree, there's, it is cool. There's a place for the put the ponies. Um, and yeah, there's each of the books down here. And then on the top of the two towers to the sides, there also are guides. But we can get to them in a moment. Can you see inside? So uh, I haven't gotten all of the pots from the my castle. I haven't gotten all the pots from the archaeology yet, but these are the shards I have found. So I've made the, the clay pots from that stuff. Yeah, playing with Siri Sulk is playing with the cool kids, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, so some of the different archaeology shards you can find to make different Ooh, pots. Ooh, look, guys! Look at our pots! Oh, I like the little wolfie! Zebra Big is playing with... well, just playing. Playing with zebra playing is playing with the derp, the derp, the derp crew. <laughs> it's playing with the handicap. <laughs> Woo, neat. These are my big fancy quartz throne. Um, with my amethyst crystals. And then there's a few more pots. Nice, these are so neat. But yeah, I don't quite have all of them. And of course there's the obligatory hello lasagna. Um, Hello, that one should lasagna. make when they when they enter. Hello, oh, oh, lasagna. Oh. All right. Um, <laughs> we can go downstairs, but uh, you're not opening every chest, or we'll be here all fucking night. Because um, <laughs> this is the warehouse. Oh, <laughs> we'll be here what all are these? fucking night. These are the new chiseled bookshelf. Come over to the other side. Um. So if you hover over one of the books, like say that lone blue book, and you right click on it, it should put the book in your hand. Oh, <gasps> what? You get so that? So they're actually enchanted book storage that looks like fancy and stuff. They also have redstone, but what? yeah. What? That's so um, cool. It is. Where's Siri Sulk stream? I don't know, guys. You you keep asking for Siri and Miss Raj to stream, and I. I don't, I'm not their managers, guys. I, 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 I mean, I might, but the problem is, is that, like, when I'm available to stream, I'm not sure 
like any of you are, but you know. Um, and then I'd have to actually like set stuff up and I don't know, we'll see. Um, I've thought about it for arting and for various shenanigans. Um, but yeah, so here's the, the, like I said, you're not opening every chest because we will be here. That's all, all right, I'll just look around. Look at how it's so organized. Or at least the how I did this YouTube video, right? <laughs> um, how I did this a little bit at a time, a lot of days at a time. All right, now we're going back upstairs. All right, and then we're gonna go to the second floor. Now that we're, we're I'm she's using got the, the best room. builds, and she just doesn't give herself enough credit for her awesomeness. So I look into my brewing area. My little sink and stuff. With my enchanting set, nice. set up. Nice! I love the sinks. So you, you got Chimera over here with the alchemy. Oh, you and then you've got Daisy. Daisy's like say, one it, with the books. Well, you know, it happens. Um, she gets excited. I mean, she's like, that's, there's one thing with like putting your nose in a book. She's like, I've got the whole head in there. And you then you hasn't even finished the castle. No, I haven't. Uh, if I was thinking while we were downstairs, I would have grabbed a disc to put in the jukebox. But oh well. So we have some tunes while we're running around. Yeah, okay. um, and then upstairs some more. These are my bedroom area with my, my little my little plants. Uh, is this your shrine? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> with the dragon head? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Maybe. All right, then, I love it. And I have more of my little plants. Nice. And this is this is Gigi in my bed. Yay, Gigi! I love how you've made yourself a bed in a bed. <laughs> and then like, each I need the king gargantuan bed. <laughs> Daisy, fuck having your nose in a book when you can put your entire head in one! <laughs> the culting stuff. Absolutely. All right, and then there are these various stores do actually go places. So the ones on the these edges go to the little balconies here. So this one's less exciting. It just leads to the courtyard. Um, but the ones on the other side, you can actually look out over the water and the town a bit more. Ooh. That's a cool view. Like, that's kind of cool. Hey, look, look, the look, lighthouse is still working. The, I was going to say, the lighthouse is working, guys. That's so neat. Come on, this is so cool. You're making my area look lame. You can see well, she actually used the building castles book that Zebra didn't even know existed. Yeah, I know, right? Actually, I didn't, for what it's worth. I've just been playing Minecraft for almost 12, oh, 13 life. years now. I don't even know. I started playing Minecraft in 1.2. Um, for those who might have any reference of what that means. Um, and then these doors over here are what I'm lead up noob. onto the, She's the not. Ramparts. That's what this is. And, oh, and this is where you can that. talk to the other edges. Ooh, I almost walked off. Look at that! That's so cool! Okay, wait, uh, wait, wait, yeah, wait, so wait. This... We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, gotta, like... If you press F1, it will hide your bar. Oh, okay. Aha! I got a screenshot of coolness! Look at that, guys! And yes, and then up here is how you get to the other idgets and their, uh... trades. Okay. And then... The top floor... I can close this door. There we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Here it is. Of course, I went the wrong way. Uh, and then up this way to the top floor is the art gallery. Oh, nice. You got like all of the paintings. I tried. And then this is where you can meet Jasmine. Well, good night, Lily. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us. I'm glad that you were able to make it. Well, at least you got to see the tent, the, uh, I don't know, the keep? Hello, kitty! And then these are also lead out to another broken area. Oh, this is super cool. And then, 
It's like, and then there's one more balcony over our uh, area on each side over here as well. Oh, you about pushed me off, dude. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, 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 i am sorry 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 i am sor
Why, why, why are you? We're, we're doing a walking tour. Ah, uh, well, that's that's boring. Sheesh. We have majestic steeds. Guys, I got denied. No, no cool ride for me. Maybe later. All right. So if we come this way, uh, let's start with the upper town first. She's like, I don't want you to kill no. my horse. Uh, I got mean, guys. Luck. Okay. So. This is the Masons. You guys are having a moment. I don't know what you're doing, but you're you're having a moment. I don't even know how. Are there three of you? I don't even know how many. Of you I, are they're all kind of like stacked in there. I don't I don't know, but they're sharing space. They're community. So this this is their their red space where they all like take a nap, and then I guess so, they can all take a nap here. Well, give them a second. They're all filing in. <laughs> apparently, it's bedtime. I like um. Apparently, I'm just gonna wait right here while everybody. You're gonna wait your turn while they fight over the door. Come on, guys. There you go. Alright, that, that should be most of them. Alright. Except for the two idiots that are stuck in the door. There we go. And then their their workshops in here. Nice. And then the Masons in particular. That's where your guys' farmer went. What? I've been wondering where he's been. Their farmer is stuck on the ladder like an absolute idiot. Why does, Look. Uh, oh, okay. Why does he? Why do they have one farmer? To feed them. But he's an absolute ditz. Get off the ladder, you idiot. All right, can I at least crawl through, you idiots? Or are you guys just going to be stuck here? Nope, you're just... Okay, I guess you're up here now, dude. I'll just shove you off the other side. Um, so anyway, you can walk through the moron and uh, come up to the view. Maybe I can shove the mason back down. Get back down there. You're not supposed to be up here. You hurt yourselves up here because you're stupid. Villagers are not allowed to be up here unsupervised. You guys do self-harm. I've watched it happen. There's a reason there's a trap door on this. Anyway, there's a view. You can look out if you want. <laughs> I don't know. This I is quite this entertaining. <laughs> Listen, you twat. <laughs> I'll just eat you off. I will. Yep, you know. Yep, yep. You just jump that way. There you go. Off you go. Good little villager. Off you go. Um, no villagers were harmed in the making of this stream. I guess I probably shouldn't push you off that way because that'll lead you off into the water and then you'll truly be stuck. Uh, this way. This way. Come on. Alright, we're, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna enjoy the view. Now at... you're up here. Look, guys, we have a great view. Isn't this amazing? We we're 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 gonna ignore the murdering of the villagers. I'm not killing him, I'm escorting him, and he's just being difficult. I don't I don't know what's happening over there. Listen, you twat waffle. This way. You're almost there. <laughs> I just, I just need you to go to this side. Ah! Alright, and then, and then, and then, and then, off you go. There you go. Alright. Villager hurting successfully. Congratulations! Too bad it isn't that easy to hurt me. No. Alright. Now, you, can you get off the ladder? Nope, you're just gonna be dumb and stuck. Okay, actually close that trap door, please. Or not, all right. All right, thank you. All right, and then, turn this side over here. We're gonna get to the weapon smithy. Nice. And apparently they're being stupid and stuck, but villagers at their finest. Um, and oh, this here is kind of special. Apparently you are too. And uh, I'm definitely a villager. I don't know what to tell you. So welcome, welcome to the forging area. Nice. I really like it. And this is the the weaponsmith side of things, and I'm on the other side. Guys, see what I mean? Like, this is this is building in Minecraft. This is what I compare myself to, and this is why I feel inadequate. 
The, this is the armor smith side. Is there supposed to be a random dirt block here? Big damn Enderman, I swear. If there was a way <laughs> to make it so the Enderman wouldn't shit blocks everywhere and villagers <laughs> could still harvest their crops, boy, it would exist. I had a feeling there wasn't supposed to be a dirt block that that was an Enderman visit. They're the bane of my existence. Yes, this is this is kind of what their sleeping quarters look like. They have any space. Nice. We've got like a loft bunk. Mm hmm And then keep going around the gardens. We'll get to that last, at least in this particular section. Then you get over to the library. Some of you guys apparently don't know what beds mean, and I don't know why there's an armorer in here, but hey dude. Um He's researching! Ah, uh, must be. Hello, everybody. Nobody's apparently in bed anymore. Um, apparently it's the party in the librarian's place. Yeah! And then there's... Let's get learned! <laughs> oh, he must have spawned in the wall. Okay. And then... That's unfortunate. Yeah, it happens. Villagers make their golems live unfortunate lives. Um, and then this is a little area where their farmer sleeps, or I guess a librarian. Um, and then if you climb up, oh hey, there's their farmer, stupid and stuck, because ladders. You guys just can't, can you? You know, All right. we do our best. As I go and up then, the ladder, and can't get down it. Just, just walk into it and let yourself fall. We do our best. And then there's the little crops that I apparently need to hoe to fix that, because again, they're stupid and jump on their crops, and they did it over here, too. <sighs> and then this <laughs> is the cartographers. The sigh. The sigh that goes with this, guys. Just like, the resignation. You know how they're, they're sleeping quarters up here. And then they're- oh, okay, one of their farmers is actually sleeping in his bed. Woo! Oh, we have a farmer, guys! And their other farmer apparently is over here. But they at least properly have their farmers, so that's a nice change of pace. Um, and this golem <laughs> seems adamant to open the door. I don't know why, but boy, he is. Well, he wants to welcome everybody. Right? And then over here is the apocryphal. He's trying to figure and out how to squeeze his ass through. <laughs> right? And Ooh, I like that flower. What are those? Those are the torch flowers. You get them from the sniffers. Um... Someday, someday I will finally get enough skulls to fight the wither and put a beacon under this place so that there'll be a beacon beam through this. But, um, today's not that day. But someday. What is the beacon um, light for? Just uh, to look Just cool? cause. And it also can give buffs depending on how big of a thing you make it on top of and all that. Um. Alright. Yeah, so, pocket theory, then you go upstairs. And this is where the, the idiots sleep. And we've had to trap door off the water upstairs because they kept being stupid and getting stuck in it and not being able to leave. Um, <laughs> because villagers. Forever bath! Okay. At least you have clean villagers. Right? I don't even think they have a farmer right now, but that's fine. Alright, and then... Down here is the cool smith. Apparently this bro's stuck. Hey, are, are beds hard to find, man? He just doesn't like sleeping. Oh, well, that's a hemp problem. We may have their, their forge as well. Nice. Looks cool. All right, and then the big dragon is in the garden. I still haven't decided if it's too big or not, but here we are. I think it's um, freaking epic. Guys, the dragon's epic, right? So this is that the little pond in the garden and somewhere in here. Where are you guys at? So these are the mangrove trees um, with the mud and such. I was gonna have frogs here, but they jumped so tall, they kept jumping out of the walls and getting all over everywhere. 
Um, <laughs> so I, ele I elected to not have frogs. Um, Fair. You guys remember? Hey, here's one. Hey, buddy. So our little friends are hanging out here. Hey, little guy. Locks, lock, locks, a lot. Mm hmm. And they so they're, they're hanging out. Is this supposed in, to uh, be running right here? You have mm, moving water. I apparently do. And uh, no, it's not. I don't immediately have a bucket, but I'll fix it later. I just figured I'd let you know. I must have missed one. It's easy enough to do. Oh, it so is. Yes, yeah, so here, here, here's the dragon's base. Um, and then the over here is some cherry. Tree. There's some cherry tree, the token cherry tree over here. Um, yeah, cherry tree, best, best tree ever. Yeah, I'm thinking my next place, I might go find one of the cherry biomes and build, like, a pagoda village. I've been wanting to do that for a while at a cherry wood. That might be my next project. That sounds um, like it would be cool. Alright, and now that we've been kind of the upper town, around the garden, time to go to the lower town. Yeah. She built all this while I built my, like, castle zoo. I feel inadequate. <laughs> it's fine. That's why I also think I've spent a lot more time building this one than while you were building. This isn't a build for build, hour for hour. Absolutely not. I've spent a lot more time here than you have on uh, the server. That goes a long way. I mean, there's um, that. So this is the navigation house down here. And you can go out here to the little box. And thankfully no villagers seem to have found their way out here this time. Um, and in the navigation house, there's- I need to update it. I think you've done more work since I last stole a map of your place. Um, so yes, this is the map of, of this place. Then on the wall above you is the map of the other place, the, the keep area. And then yes, this is the map of spawn and your place that I think I need to update because you've been busy. Um, I, I have been working. It does look like you are-, are... Missing some of my stuff. Like I said, it's been a while since I ran over there with. But the map. it doesn't look. Oh. It doesn't look terribly out of date. It looks like. Yeah, it, it looks. It looks like you're just missing the tears. So I mean, not too bad. It's crazy because it doesn't feel like I have that much involved. I guess I've built a lot more than I felt like I did. I mean, so I guess there's that. Snacks! I don't even know what these are. I'm sure they're snacks. Um, no. One is an empty map, one is a book and quill, and one's a spyglass. Oh, you're sure that's not a burrito? Uh, absolutely positive. <laughs> so, I mean, it's made out of copper and amethyst. <laughs> um, you finished the logo in Minecraft I made for you? Nice! Right I would love to see it. If you'd like to share it, you can put it in Discord. Hmm, right here. That counts as fan hmm. art. Is this Shepherds? He's like on one me. side. Get, get out of the way, farmer! <laughs> Are there beds? And then on the other side is go, where they work. Go, their go, go, rot, rot. Listen, listen. Are you the trapdoors and the villagers losing? Listen. Bro, just walk out the door. I was talking to go. the villager. Do you mind? Apparently. And then out we here is the we sheep. Were, we were having a conversation. Alright, let's see if you we can have this mostly well. black sheep. Well, yeah, because it's, it's black. Noticeably yours. I don't think if someone didn't know you, they would give you from it. I'm sure that it's still awesome. Um, I have mostly black sheep because these banners I have are black banners, and if you use a loom, you can copy things over as long as the banner type's the same. Um, oh, okay. But, uh, hey, you're gonna actually into the sheep pen so I can show you. Oh, I didn't know I was supposed to be coming into the sheep pen. Because on the other side of the sheep pen. Uh, 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 uh. No! Don't! 
are Ow. the sheeples. The sheeples? Is that what you said? Yes, basically one of each color of sheep. We've got we've got a little we got a little dialots over here, guys. And one of Enderman, I hate your existence! <laughs> so now my brown sheep are with my cyan sheep because Endermen suck. Okay. Yep, this is supposed to be my light blue sheep. My light blue sheep and my brown sheep are now one. That's a that's a future me problem to fix. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, that's good to know. Um Enderman, I swear, they're the bane of my existence. <laughs> yeah, the Endermen seem to plague you. Um, um, this is the the fishery in the bunkhouse. I don't. So this is I've the... never noticed that the Endermen have added dirt to my area. Um, so this is the area where basically people can sleep and snack beds if they want. Um, then in here is the fisherman sleeping, and then over Endermen, I swear to fuck. <laughs> no. Um, so, this is where the barrels are, and if you come out here, at least down to the dock, where they like to spawn their iron golems. Uh, um, I guess so. All your golems are right here. But, did I mention Endermen plague me? Because Endermen plague me. Um, um, they do. I don't have this problem. Hey you, new hat! I think we should do this squidly! Alright! Yeah. It's been a while since we've seen you, Squiddy. It is Squiddy Hat! Squiddy Hat! Squiddy Hat! Let's make sure his eyeballs are facing forward. And his little legs going. Squid the hat! Squid the hat! Yeah, guys! We got the squid! Alright, you ready? Yes, now that yeah. I have been squeeded. Alright, then over here is the leather workers. The first part's the barn. So, in here are the cows. I need to eat something for a second. So, so that's the little cows. And Yay, over here. The cows! Two hats in one stream. That definitely happened. All right, you gotta go up the ladder, and when you get to the top, you're gonna have to crouch and move forward. There you go. And these are where the bunny rabbits are. Well, hello, bunny rabbits. So I'll run terrified in here, but you know. Hi, bunny! I just wanna give you a hug. Good cheer. I might have a little lunch. They don't seem interested. Alright, and then you have to she, crouch to go down she, again. She definitely has the zoo. Uh, I don't have all the animals. I still have, have, have animals. I tried to wear them all at once. Yeah, that happened once. Yeah, I haven't I haven't gotten off my lazy bum and fared camels back. I don't have pandas. I don't have um I mean I technically don't think I have a dog. Um all right, I think I'm behind on here. the build, period. Her build is cooler than mine. I don't know what to tell ya. And then upstairs is their sleeping area, and apparently they're all gonna stand in the beds and stare at us. Okay. Um, That's not they're creepy at all. We, we, we welcome to villagers. Yeah, I know. Um, they're, they're creepy. And then, down here's the well. That I've also had the villager proof, so there has to be stairs, otherwise they're stupid <laughs> and get stuck in it, because <laughs> villagers. Then I bet you can guess what this house involves. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe it's the most glorious house ever! They it's have the pigs! If, no, you don't kill them here. What are you doing? Dragon. 
You're awful. No, I don't want to. Why? You don't, you don't, you don't make pork chops. Fools are what I'm holding. These are actually hoggling pork chops, if it's any consolation. No, not really. Hoglins are pigs too. I'm just, I'm just gonna move in. I'll be one with the pigs. It's fine. Um, well, we're not quite done with the tour yet before you get too comfy with. What the are pigs. they doing on that bed? Well, it's hard to say. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just here with the pigs. Look, we're just, we're just picking out. It's fine. There's a cat that spawned in the stairs. Okay. Hey, 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 we're not quite done yet. But there was pigs. There is, and you can go back to them once we're done. Where am I going? Outside. Maybe. Alright. And then... Delivers <laughs> as usual. Yes, yes I am. I mean, I think this is fairly self-explanatory. Um, Wait, meat, guys! Fruit, carrots, potatoes. That's what this Garden. is. Garden! Um... Behold the things that grow! And then here's the chicken coop and the Fletchers. So this is their kind of central area. Apparently he's the one on guard duty tonight. Um, and yes, these are the chickens. And on the other side's the chicken coop. And I am probably going to get filled with eggs, but that's fine. Um, so if you come under the chicken coop, and try not to let any chickens in. Um, this, this is where... This is where you can get an egg or two. If you need an egg, you There's can a reason get... why you were all like, I need eggs for my chickens. <laughs> all right, I've got some. Yeah, this is why she was able to egg me when I wanted chickens. I mean, this is gratuitous. Look at this. I mean, honestly, in the world of coops, it's a rather small one. This rush and I have built bigger. It doesn't make it less gratuitous. Uh, back outside of uh, Fletcher's house. So, back through the double doors. I got this, And then guys. through the double doors. I got this, guys. Have no right, faith. I can get lost anywhere! We're gonna go around the wheat, the beetroot, the carrots, and the potatoes, and we're gonna scare the stray cat. We're gonna go over to the dirt yard! Is he is he not your pet? No, nope, he's not. He's a wild one. They do spawn in villages, you know. I was just thinking maybe I should I should go fishing. Hi, turtles! So in theory, um, I could make you Look some turtle that. eggs if you wanted to. I turtles, get but... adorable. Look at them. Yeah. So These amazing. are all turtles that naturally spawn in this area. That this is where they live. I turtle just kind of built around it. And then all along my walls on this side, where it lines up with the beach, there are turtles all along the wall. I have fucking turtles everywhere. Look at them, they're amazing! This is the almighty turtle enclosure! Mainly to keep villagers out and less to keep them in. Um, right? <laughs> so here are my, my melons and pumpkins. Ah, oh, glorious! Yes, yes, we are proof! Alright, and then on this side is where we get to the bamboo, the cactus, and the sugar cane. I mean, I have to say that this is definitely looking way cooler than any of my gardening. And then over here are the sweet berries, the nether wart, the chorus fruit, and the glow berries. And the, and the cocoa beans. Co cocoa, chocolate, not coffee. That's fine. You, I know what I meant. <laughs> and then over here is the What is that farm. weird purple shit? The chorus fruit? Oh. That Does it sing? You have to... No. Um, uh, you uh... eat it and it teleports you places. Um, and it's used to make purple and end rods Never and Never make things. a pediatric nurse angry? I mean... I don't advise making your nurse angry ever, regardless of what type. But yeah, these are kind of a pain to harvest because you have to either physically attack or shoot all of the flowers um, in order to be able to grow more of them. Um, oh. And then I have the tree farms. So there is the jungle, the oak, 
the spruce, the birch, and then if you go to the other side, there are the cherry and the acacia, and I haven't cared enough to get the dark oak because it's ginormous and takes up space <laughs> and it's down the can't grow one. Because they have very <laughs> little patience! Uh, if you understand, you understand. Yes, all their patients are very little. Especially um, if they're uh, a NICU nurse! Uh, but this is just the, uh, one of the ways out, and I have a mine over there somewhere. But, uh, yeah. I think that's the gist of it. Well, I think that's amazing! But yeah, yeah, shorter than Nether Road, because I haven't cared enough to do it yet. Um, in theory, it's all done. Well, I think it looks great. Feel free to, like, build a road between my castle and your, like, spawn site, too. Oh, I figured that was something they'd make you do. No. Oh. You can just like come and make my castle not ugly and build it, a, you know, decorations on the inside. But it's your castle. <laughs> She's like, nah, it's just gonna have to stay ugly, guys. It's fine. When you get a chance, check out Leo's fan art. I will definitely be checking it out. It will be after stream, though. All right, I went back outside. I'm realizing you weren't following me. I think I we went talking. out the wrong outside. No, you're you're the right outside, or an outside. You can get there. They're all connected. Um. Seems like I reach outside here. Well, of course yeah. not, because we moved on. Um, Siri moved on. <laughs> but yeah. And then, get in our lovely boat. Here, since it's so offensive, why don't you drive? No, no, it's alright. Alright, well, we'll swim. What? It's, no, it's fine. It's it's totally fine. We, I, I'll just be decapitated. No, no, we make such a big deal about it. Alright, fine. I'll try, and then I don't know where we're going, but back the dock on the deep slate place. You, there are two different docks. Pick one. I don't care. One is not this way. <laughs> you have to go around the hill one way or the other. <laughs> There's a wall this way. I don't know. This is why you were supposed to drive. Not the why my cape was offensive. Say, look, <laughs> it's a cape. Ask you in chat a random question. Um. Yay, I'm pretty it, sure guys. that's not a random question. Um, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to ask the random question. So much pressure. But yeah, so this is this is my space. I'll, I'll make it zit. What's a useless bit of information you got? All right, I'll even I'll even give you an escort back home. It's better when I ask it? What? Alright, guys, then. I guess that's my question. What's an interesting, useless bit of information you know? Oh man, now I definitely need my like sword and board. Okay, Don't you like my shield? I do. It kind of compresses it here because it's technically a smaller pixel stuff, but you know. I think it still looks cool. It, I recognize it as your banner. 
Alright, I guess it can't be that horribly compressed. No, you need to kindly go away. I'm not sure if I helped her. I tried. I've heard someone. Where is he? Oh, it's you. Yeah, he likes you. Go away. Two. Why are we killing pigs? Because they hurt a lot. He was friendly. He didn't do anything. He just said No, he was just scared by the mushroom, and as soon as you stopped looking, he was gonna ram you in the ass. I know better. Well, he was just being cute. He was just... I don't know. Well, you're I gonna die this recently, again. actually. In 2016, Mozart sold more CDs than Beyonce. I mean, that's cool. I take that back. She took me off guard for that one. <laughs> <laughs> that that's kind of useless information, but it's so interesting. All right, and and you're back home. Congratulations. I'm home! Yay! I like being home. Was well, a few minutes just there? Yes, yes, we have a few minutes. I can actually get like fully home. That sounded like what's more significant, the Renaissance of sing or. Of single ladies by what? <laughs> oh, or... What's more significant, yeah, the Renaissance or single ladies by Beyonce. Right, 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 gotcha, gotcha. My brain didn't process that at all. It's fine. Boy, we noticed. <laughs> oh, what you talking about? <laughs> yeah, guys, we, we'd be building stuff. There's stuff! Pretty sure she hasn't she probably even seen hasn't. the meme. Nope. Nope, I have not. I'm gonna go, gonna go, like, talk to myself here. Hey, hey me, how you doing? Okay. Oh, guys, it's that time. I'm turning into a pumpkin. Uh, also, hog was a term used to describe someone who spent all their money as soon as they get it. Interesting. Interesting. Guys, you distracted him. You didn't, what? What do you mean you distracted me? You, you were doing your outro? <laughs> well, you know, sort of, but it's fine. I'm still changing the screens. Look, see, I'm changing. It's fine. <laughs> I don't even know who's on, but he's definitely a possibility. I haven't even looked to see if he's uh, streaming right now. But yeah, Twitchosaurus is always a good, fun one to do uh, to, to raid. I enjoy him a lot. So thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me today. I hope that you enjoyed all the randomness that we had tonight. <laughs> Whatever it was tonight. We built a hill. I think that's all we accomplished. Um, <laughs> but thank you for all of the follows, the subs. I really appreciate the support. You guys are amazing. And I also appreciate the art. I look forward to uh, checking out the new stuff. So thank you very, very, very much. And yes, two hats in one stream. Yes, it happens. We have the screen. We have the screen. If you go down into the about page, there's things for you to check out. You should check out the green dragon. If you click on that, it'll take you to Siri Skulk's page. And you can see all our art. Not only is she the one that did all the cool village you guys just got to check out. She also does all the emotes and overlays for the channel. So she's awesome sauce. You should like go all of her things. So. Um, <laughs> there's also the more zebra pig link. If you click on that, it'll take you to a page that gives you all the stuff that lists the things that I do outside of Twitch. So you can follow those links and, and check out the other stuff if you're interested. And there's the link to the coffee shop that will give you other options for supporting what we're doing here. If you would like to do that. And if you would like 
to give us fan art, you can do that by going to Discord, which apparently is going to be on all caps tonight. Discord with emphasis. Um, Discord is also a great place for you to go if you want to give us suggestions. So we have a suggestions channel. Just drop in thoughts, ideas, things that you'd like to see us play. Um, and if you want to do fan art, there's the fan art channel. Just drop that art in there. And any art in that channel goes in this so that everybody can see your awesome superpower of artiness. So long as it's Twitch appropriate. Of course. Yes, it has to be Twitch appropriate. than Twitch. <laughs> We don't currently have scheduled movie nights, so they're based on spoon availability. <sighs> because it's definitely been interesting working full time and trying to stream on the side. So there's been a lot of things that uh, have been pared down. Yes, that's what we'll call it. Pairing. There's been pairing. Or maybe it's culling. I don't know. But I've definitely had to cut back on some of the things that I was doing before I went back to uh, working full time. So there's that. <sighs> I just I just need more hours in the day. That's what I need. And then I can do all the things. So let's take a look and see who's on. And somebody was talking about Twitch. Just uh, uh, make, make, make watch I don't even know. Is he on? Let's take a look. Pick. Twitch. He is. He's playing Phasmophobia. We can totally raid him. Let's invade! Don't forget your Doritos! Yes! When we get there, make sure that he feels awesome through the power of snacks so you're gonna throw two or three Doritos. And guys, make sure that you are like taking care of yourselves until we can hang out again. And always, I mean, even if we're not hanging out ever again, just be good, hang out, Take care. I don't even know. My my English just broke. It's fine. Take Bye. care of yourself. Right. That's what I was trying to say. Bye, guys. <laughs>